Hello everyone, I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast, welcome back to my channel. On episode 2 of uh, Douglas Lane's Remarkable Regional Malts, that's a mouthful, I keep... It's the Douglas Lane part and then Remarkable Regional Malts, malts. again, see? Uh, I dare you to say it fast. Anyway, episode 2, we're at Timorous Beastie. Just to remind you, this is the box we have, we're doing it... Um, every episode a different region. Today we have the Highlands, the Timorous Beastie. I'll show you the bottle. Again, another blended malt from uh, the Highlands. What does it say? The original Timorous Beastie, immortalized in Robert Burns' famous poem, To a Mouse, was a timid field mouse echoing our national bard's wits. Ours is certainly not the faint, not the faint-hearted. Not, not for the faint-hearted, okay. Small batch malt whiskey is a marriage of single cast single malts distilled only in the Highlands, including those distilled at Blair Athol, Glengarry, Strathern, never heard of that one, Dalmore, and Glengoyne, amongst others. Bottled at 46.8% ABV, non chill filtered, and natural color, as with all of these. Okay, let's give it a shot. What the hell happened? Did we uh, drop a bit? Yeah, there we go. I'm having issues with my camera stand. I'm sorry, guys. Let's continue. Right, Timorous Beastie, like uh, it's from the Highlands. Again, disclosure uh, these are blended malts, uh, so coming from malts of the uh, certain regions, and uh, the aim is to showcase what that region can offer. But, you know, Highlands, as with every other region, is very different. Uh, they have, um, you know, you have the coastal highlands like Auburn, Kleinelish, uh, Old Pulteney have a lot of maritime notes, a little bit of a peat. And then you have Dalmore as well, massively sherry. And then you have Glengoyne, a uh, very light um, and relaxed drink with uh, sherry influence. And also Loch Lomond with, uh, with a little bit of a peat and a character on its own. So, you know, every region will have all sorts of whiskies. So... Um, this is just a little bit of a dive in into the region, but we shouldn't take it as uh, the exact, uh, you know, taste profile of the Highlands. But it's a fun little experiment. And uh, like I said, I highly recommend uh, you get in this and try these. Uh, you know, you're not going to be... I don't think you're going to be ever disappointed with any of them. I don't know if you're going to be enamored by any of them. I... Disclaimed this before, uh, blended malts are not my favorite uh, category because more often than not they're uh, a bit all over the place and disconnected. Anyway, let's dive in. Okay. Mm. Oh, I like this nose. Now, it's very fresh. It's very candied. Any sort of candied fruits got fresh ice cream notes from it so there's a hint of milkiness but very floral very herbal mmm what's that like a lemon sherbet candy yes that's very nice very um, red apple juicy red apple juicy pears Um, yeah, I'm like in a flower garden in here. I don't get much peat in this. Maybe a hint of a subtle smoke, but not not very much. Uh, probably, and if it is, it's going to be Highland peat. And it has Glengarry in it, and I can feel it, which um, which has an own you know, robust character. Yeah, a lot of apple, bitter, uh, citric notes, but not super zesty, it's more sweet. Uh, feels very all-rounded, you know. Um, has a dryness to it as well. A little bit of a metallic note. Kind of get that metallic note from uh, Loch Lomond. It doesn't say it has it in it, but it might. I don't know if I get Dalmore in here, but I certainly do Glengarry. Let's dive into the palette. Mmm. Mmm. 
wow, that's spicy. Oh, what was that? 46.8. But, oh, that is spicy. That tells me, oh, it's very dry as well. Mmm. It's dry and bitey uh, with a lot of honey, uh, honey nuts, uh, you know, honey covered nuts. A lot of uh, fresh apple, uh, bitter notes there, uh, like quince, that's it, quince, that's on the nose. Well, incredibly spicy, so that tells me either there's some old stock in there that uh, really took some uh, wood notes, or it could be some charred oak there, so that might uh, explain a little bit of a, now I get it more on the nose, the charred oak bit. Hmm, yeah. That is, mm. but the finish is that metallic note, you know, puts its head forward a little bit and then it turns into very sweet. Massive quince note on the palate with some, um, um, like I said, honey, a little bit molasses, hint of a maple syrup. Ex-bourbon cast probably on the palate. I can get down more of it But if they didn't tell me it was down more would I have picked it up? No, because down more is like a very cherry forward very nutty uh, Dry also so the dryness could be coming from that one as well, but it's really nice I do enjoy it now my pick of the uh, Highlands. I did this actually before reading what's behind it. I just thought uh, I mean, Deanston. Deanston is Highland as well. I love Deanston, but like I said, there's an array of things. I figured maybe this one would represent the Highlands the best. And lo and behold, it's the Glengarry it has in this. So check this out. It's the Glengarry 12. Now I know it's written as Glengarryok, but it's uh, read as Glengarry. Now I'll just put it here where you can't see. <laughs> I need a bigger table, damn it. There you go, yeah. Uh, and I have a sample next to someone, so I don't need to open this bottle right now. All right, let's see what Glengarry has to offer and let's see if we can find any similarities between the Timorous Beastie and Glengarry. There you go. It's a generous pour. It's actually 3CL, you know, and that's all you need. You don't need uh, that much of a big pour. Now, let's see what Glengarry says about its own whiskey. Uh, Non-chill filtered, 12 years old single malt, gains its distinctive Highland character from a classic marriage of bourbon and sherry cask, fresh heather, poached pears, and just a hint of oak. Tasting notes, fresh heather, rich poached pears, sweetest of malted barley, creme brulee, sweet ripe fruits, just a hint of oak, a long and memorable finish. No, doesn't um, say anything. As far as I know, it's uncolored because it should write, but um, no. So that's the bottle, uh, bottled at 48% ABV. So a bit gonna be a bit more hefty than the Timorous Beastie. But uh, I'm assuming you can see it. Yeah, okay. This is the Glengarry. It's it's a very interesting whiskey, in my opinion. I really do like the Glengarry range. You can find some nice uh, independent bottling of Glengarry as well. There's a Founders Reserve, which is a bit more... Uh, it's non-age stated, but it's, um, I think a bit more hefty, a bit more bitey. But this is a really nice one from memory. So let's dive into this one. All right. Yeah, I mean, I immediately went to there because I can see it, but pears, that quince note is more on the Glengarry 12. So that means the quince note comes from the Glengarry to the Timorous Beastie. Yeah, red apple, quince, pear, a lot of... Um, I get honey nut Cheerios, which is then malted barley, well, not malted barley, obviously, but you get honey barley notes. Very sweet, very floral. Not as herbaceous as this one, but <clears throat> very nice. Yes. Oof. 
<laughs> I forgot how good this is. Now this is bitey, but not as spicy as this one, although on the palate, you get a lot of um, nut notes, you get a lot of honey, a lot of barley, a lot of fruit, and then followed by a big um, dry smoke, but not. don't think Isla Pete, think of it, it's a combination of charred casks and uh, a little bit of a um, Highland peat, which presents itself to me as uh, tea, uh, mulch, dirt, and uh, just soil. So beautiful, and the bit and the, and the finish is um, dry, yeasty, earthy, herbal, and um, nutty. That's the finish of the Glengarry Twelve. Now. Wow. Okay, compared to the Glangiri 12, the Timorous Beastie has just turned into a fruit basket right now. Uh, just a lot of pears, a lot of uh, apples, and uh, but in a synthetic way as well. So you get like apple jellies, pear jellies, um, any kind of like, uh, you know, gummy bears kind of nose. A little bit of synthetic, that metallic note, note is doing that. I don't know where it's from, maybe Loch Lomond. Whereas the Glengarry, you get the bitterness and the oakiness and the smokiness on the nose more when you compare them head to head. Honey, malt, but the spice is there, so... Whereas the palate on this one, it's completely different. Oh, black pepper, through and through. The spice on the second hand came much more and um, really strong black pepper with charred oak notes. I feel like dragon. Interesting. It's not considered a peaty whiskey, but it's, I think it integrates that charred oak really, really well. It doesn't say anything about charred oak, to be fair. And um, I think the sherry notes come across as very dry and bitter on this one. And probably they didn't use that much uh, first fill sherry. Uh, they don't say anything about it. It's, it's definitely not PX. It can't be PX with this uh, bitterness. And bourbon is uh, probably second fill. So the distillate is really shining through on this one. Um, guys, I'm like I said, I recommend Timorous Beastie in this format. Will I recommend it in a big bottle? Um, I think I will. I think I will recommend it in a big bottle. So, and with Glengarry, I'm going to say, I'm going to give it, uh, will people like it? You know what? I'm going to give it two Glencairns because it is a bit of a challenging dram. It's not your typical whiskey where you're, you know, you can have it like a breakfast whiskey, relax. Uh, if you like Dalmore, you can't say, oh, I'm going to like Glengarry, even though, you know, you think, oh, it's Highland, so I like Dalmore. I'm going to like Glengarry. It's completely different style. So I'm going to recommend two Glencairns on the Glengarry uh, because of the challengingness of it, because um, it's not your everyday whiskey. So try it before you buy it. I actually love it. Um, I'm happy I made this comparison. I hope you guys liked it too. If you do, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and check out my videos. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, which is Scallywag from Spaceside. It has Macallan in it. All right. See you guys. Cheers. See you.